Now we'll go over some other techniques that will enhance your ability to play melodies. The first one is varying your breath pressure. And it's exactly what it sounds like. You're just gonna vary the breath pressure and it sounds like this. On all these techniques, I tend to use them to play with them in the beginning on the upper couple notes. They tend to be a little easier, uh, a little less touchy uh, to experiment with. So to vary your breath pressure on one note without varying breath pressure, it sounds like this. Now to create some emotion uh, or, or a feeling within that note, you just vary that breath pressure up and down. Really adds a lot of inflections, just like singing. We don't want to sing monotone because it kind of it's a boring feel, put, tends to put people to sleep. Instead, we add inflections, and the and the varying your breath pressure is the same idea within uh, within the flute. The next technique is the tonguing or creating rhythm, and tonguing is the way is your the technique itself is you're using your tongue and you're hitting the top of the roof of the top of the mouth, the roof of the mouth just behind the front teeth. And you're doing that, you're stopping and starting the air. Ta 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 ta. Obviously you're not using the word, you're not vocalizing the word ta, it's just that motion, ta ta ta. And what that does is it's a way of creating rhythm. Ta 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 these start becoming the rhythms combined with note combinations create your melody. So far we've been just varying how long we hold a note. That combined with tonguing is what creates the rhythm and the note combinations along with that create melodies. There's a couple different styles of tonguing. One is a real sharp poignant style which is called staccato and it sounds like this. It has kind of a bouncy, upbeat feel. And the other is a legato or a real soft way of tonguing and it sounds like this. And legato has kind of a more lazy feel to it. So far what we've been doing when we're changing notes is what's called slurring. There's no tonguing going on between the notes. Sounds like this. versus when I tongue between the notes. Now combining the two, we'll start creating variations as well. Another way of using tonguing that's a real nice technique is you, on one note, you'll tongue and it kind of renews that note. Without changing the note, you tongue it and it renews that note. Sounds like this. Each time I do it, it feels like it really renews that note. So as I'm playing a melody, I can use that to start creating variations. I actually just did it in the last melody. I played a little few notes and it sounds like this. That has all three elements. It has slurring, it has tonguing, and it has the tonguing that renews the note as well. Now the next techniques are fingering techniques. And there's uh, a couple basic fingering techniques. One of them is fluttering. Kind of a neat sound to it. And the other is a uh, bending the notes. To bend the notes, you'll slide your finger off the note slowly. I tend to do it where I, I roll my finger off the note. Some people will lift, they find that a little easier, but I find rolling it to be really the easiest way. Sounds like this.
So far what we've been doing is just walking consecutive notes up and down the flute, but in the next section we'll go over jumping notes and how to jump notes on the flute.